Hello, Leo. Welcome to your general reading for September. Hope you're doing amazing. So this is a general reading, as I said before, so it may not resonate with everyone, but that's okay. Check your moon rising or Venus. If you would like a personal reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Links in the description box below. Or you can go to the website up above. Hello, by the way. <laughs> I'm also on social media, Instagram and Facebook to be exact. There are pick a cards, weekly readings, and I'm also doing a giveaway every month this year. So check that out. And I'm on Patreon. So, Leo, let's see what we have for you in September. Present power. Creative endeavor. Vast universe. If there's a project that you want to move forward on, but you're not sure, I would say do it. Especially if it's a passion project, it's going to take off. So be ready. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say about that. Okay. Temple path, path, goddess of the moon, and deceit. This is interesting because the main energy is like, don't let your fear stop you. Okay. That's really the theme here. You can be your own worst enemy during this time, so just be careful. So let's see what the cards have. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Tower and the King of Swords. Yeah. What you think you know, you don't know. Okay, what you thought is about to be challenged during this time. Okay, what you thought about something in the past. Okay, mm -hmm. or someone, you know. Okay, Queen of Swords, Five of Swords, Two of Swords, High Priestess, Ace of Cups. Okay, love is here. And Five of Wands, Six of Wands. Page of Cups and the Devil. And there's that fear. I feel like you're struggling with your ego about something during this time. Um, and it's kind of keeping you at a standstill. You know, logically, you're not sure if something makes sense. I feel like you're just all in your thoughts about something. And with the temple path, you just have to let it be. The temple path is that spirit energy where things are working out for you, whether you know it or not. You just can't see it. All you can see is the conflict, the heaviness. That's all that you can see right now. Okay, that's that. Yeah, but if you open up your, you know, if you open up your third eye or look at things in, in, in that spiritual perspective, everything is fine. You really just have to get out of your head, Leo. You're way too much in your head right now. Um, something beautiful is trying to take place, whether this is a love relationship, because I feel like if it is, it's someone um, that you were having some sort of trouble with. And you're fighting with your, your, it's a head over heart decision that you're fighting with. I feel like there's a lot of things that you wanted to know. And you were trying to pull that out of them, but you couldn't. And they're about to say it. They're about to express how they feel. So this could be an apology as well. It's going to make you feel good, you know. It's going to make you feel like you knew all along. But there's a fear that the conflict is going to come back. And that's just you being in your head. There's a lot of you being in your head during this time.
Yeah, something you were waiting on is going to be over, like in a good way. Um, it feels like you're investing in something, putting your time into something, and nothing's coming out of it or nothing's growing. And you're trying to make the best decisions. You're trying to do what you think is right. But it's like realizing that that isn't working and just expressing all the things that you have inside or that you want to get out um, or someone else wants to get out. It's going to get out, you know, and I feel like that cycle is going to be over and you're going to be triumphant in that way. So. Yeah, somebody wants to rekindle something with you. Um or if it's a project, honestly, that you were working on, it's for your best benefit, you know. You just got to open up your heart to it, you know. You got to let go of the struggle. You got to let go of the struggle. You got to let change happen. Yeah, someone's coming in to heal this for you or this offer. If this is a career thing, this offer is really going to open up something really wonderful to you. Something stable. But you do have to let go of fear in order to do that. That's what's going to block you here. Yeah, fear. That fear is going to hold you back from a new beginning. So you're going to want to open up to that, okay? Some of you are worried about a child. Um, maybe they're healing. Maybe something happened where they had to go to the hospital. Um, but stop worrying about it. I feel like it's it's getting better. So don't worry about that. Yeah, this is that mindset about some sort of relationship. Yeah. I, someone's coming in to make a choice. You know what I mean? Um, but you run the risk of being too like overly sensitive about the situation. Because you're in your head too much. Yeah, don't don't let overthinking destroy your chances for something good. It's like you need to look at this as the gift that it is. So the big message I'm getting here for you, Leo, is to say yes. <laughs> okay. Just say yes to something. So let's see your spirit message. Not the right time, compromise, and helpful people. Yeah. So so I feel like whatever that is going on for you, um, it wasn't the right time. It wasn't divine timing. There were things that needed to get blockages that needed to be removed, right? So now all of that is working out, whether this is a person coming in with an apology or you're just deciding to take that that step forward in career and just get along with the situation because right now that's all that you have to do. This is going to be a helpful venture in the future, whether career or relationship, right? There's something else to be learned here. There's something to be gained. So you should just continue to move forward. Okay. So Leo, thank you for being here. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.